Let me guess. You've stared at the same math problem for 15 minutes straight, and your brain feels like it's drowning in numbers. You revise for hours. You solve 20 questions a day. But when the exam comes, you blank out. You panic. You forget everything. And you start to think maybe you're just not a math person, right? Let me tell you something you've never been told. There is no such thing as a math person. That label was created by lazy minds who wanted an excuse. The real truth? Math is not about talent. It's about brain programming. And 99% of students are programming their brains the wrong way. They study formulas. They memorize steps. They copy solutions. And then they wonder why nothing sticks. But the top 1%? They do something completely different. They don't study math like a subject. They study it like a martial art like a combat skill, and that's how they get straight A's effortlessly, while others drown in confusion. If you're tired of wasting hours solving and still forgetting, if you're done with being average in math, then you need to listen till the end. Because I'm about to reprogram your brain to master math permanently. Let me expose a dark truth most teachers will never tell you. The school system teaches math backwards, they start with formulas, then they teach you the steps, then they give you problems, and only then they expect you to understand. This is like teaching someone to swing a sword by giving them the blade, telling them to copy movements from a book, and hoping they survive a real fight. It doesn't work. The brain doesn't learn math by memorizing. It learns by intense understanding followed by active recall under pressure. Every time you just follow steps, you're training your brain to be passive, to wait, to copy, to freeze in exams. But the top 1%? They train their brain like a battlefield. They brutalize their weak areas. They build pain tolerance for confusion. They use techniques that force the brain to adapt, fight, and dominate. And no, it's not about solving 100 questions a day. It's about using strategic, brain-hacking study methods that make one hour feel like 10. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that, step by step, from zero. Even if you've always been terrible at math, even if you've failed before, because the truth is, there's no such thing as a weak student, only weak methods. You don't need more books. You don't need more hours. You need a new operating system for your mind. One that turns math into a game you dominate, not a monster you fear. So forget everything school taught you, forget what your friends say, forget the myth that math is boring or painful. Because starting today, you're going to study math like a weapon. And once you master it, no exam can touch you. Let's begin. 1. Stop memorizing. Start seeing. Memorizing math formulas is the biggest trap. Because the moment stress hits you in an exam, your memory collapses. You don't need to remember formulas. You need to understand why they were born. Every formula is not just a tool. It's a shortcut to a long story your brain never heard. Take the quadratic formula, for example. Most students just chant it like a spell. Minus B plus minus root B square minus 4AC. But do you even know where it comes from? Why it works? how it was created. The top 1% of students do one thing differently. They derive formulas themselves, at least once, not to memorize, but to awaken their brain's logic center. When you understand the birth of a formula, you never forget it because it's now your creation. And what the brain creates, it never abandons to. The 3x exposure rule. Here's a truth bomb. Your brain doesn't trust anything it sees once. If you solve a math concept today and don't touch it for a week, your brain deletes it like trash data. The solution? Use the 3x exposure rule. First exposure. Learn the concept actively. Don't passively watch a teacher. Speak out loud. Teach it to yourself. Second exposure. Revisit the same topic after 24 hours. This activates memory consolidation. Third exposure. Come back again after three days. This locks it in long term. Most students move on too quickly, but the top 1%? They master fewer topics, but own them for life. You don't need to study eight hours a day. You need to attack each concept three times, 
strategically. 3. Reverse practice, the no solution method. Here's something dangerous, but powerful. Stop solving problems with solutions beside you. Earn your answer key. Because the moment you peek at the solution, your brain gives up the fight and learning dies. Instead, pick a problem and solve it without knowing if you're right. This is called the no solution method. You struggle, you guess, you try again, you wrestle. And that struggle, that pain, that's what wires your brain for real understanding. Then, after 20 to 30 minutes of effort, only then check the solution. This technique turns passive learning into battle training. And after a week of doing this, you'll feel a kind of confidence you've never felt before in math. Fourth, time attack drills. Pressure builds precision. Most students can solve problems slowly, but exams are not slow. They are war zones. If you're training in peace, you'll panic in war. You need to build pressure resistance. Here's how. Take five problems you've already practiced. Set a timer for five minutes. Solve all five under pressure. This isn't about getting it right. It's about training your brain to think fast, clear, and calm under stress. After a few sessions, your brain adapts, your speed increases, your fear decreases, your exam performance transforms. This is how champions train. Five, learn math by teaching math. Here's a psychological trick. The brain retains 90% of what it teaches and only 10% of what it reads. That's why you must stop studying alone. You must teach, even if it's to a wall. After you learn any topic, do this. Close your book, stand up, teach the concept out loud as if your life depends on it. At first, you'll stutter, you'll blank out, you'll realize what you don't know. And that's the point, because once you explain a topic without notes, your brain considers it mastered. This is how the smartest students on earth study. They don't revise, they reteach. Six, convert every mistake into a weapon. Mistakes are not failures. They are your map to mastery. But most students erase their mistakes, skip them, or feel ashamed. The top 1% do the opposite. They document every single mistake in a mistake notebook. Every time you mess up, write it down. Include what you got wrong, why, what you misunderstood. Revisit it every Sunday. This journal becomes your personal weakness tracker. And every time you conquer a mistake, you get one step closer to invincibility. This is how elite performers sharpen themselves. 7. Activate emotional motivation. Let's get brutally honest. If you don't feel emotional pain from failure or emotional fire to win, your brain will stay lazy. You must link math with identity, not grades, not pressure, but pride. Ask yourself, what would it feel like to destroy the subject you once feared? What would your life look like if math became your strength? Who told you you're not a math person? And how will you prove them wrong? When your why becomes personal, your brain fights harder. It stops escaping. It starts conquering. Conclusion of the body section. Math isn't a subject. It's a battlefield for your mind. The average student solves problems. The elite student solves themselves. You now have seven weapons in your hand. If you apply them, you will dominate, not by chance, but by design. Because the truth is this. You were never bad at math. You were just following a broken path. Today, you take control. Today, you rewrite your brain. Now, I want to hear from you. What's the one math concept that's haunted you for years? Algebra, trigonometry, word problems? Comment it below right now. Let's face it, let's destroy it together. Because from today, you're not just studying math. You're mastering it like a weapon. And the war has just begun.